Okay, so the game actually crashed on me. It actually crashed uh, mid mid mission, and I'm don't worry, I'm I'm, g I'm not gonna go through the whole mission again. I'm gonna I'm gonna spare you that. Uh, I'm back to where I just was, where, where it just had crashed. We had defeated the giant uh, blue elephants that were that were besieging us, that were besieging our lines. And I think I'm just gonna abandon all my troops except the tanks. Because the tanks just move so fast that nothing can catch up to them, making them uh, clearly the best unit in the game. And I can just use them to out entirely outmaneuver my enemies <laughs> and run all over them without them actually, you know, really putting up any kind of resistance, so to speak. Anyway, I think I'm gonna recruit some more tanks. Apparently, I've got a, a, a special part power called Soviet National Anthem, which I'm going to use. I don't know what it does. It gives them glowing hails, apparently, and I can hear the, the Soviet National Anthem being dimly played in the background. I guess it increases their attack or some shit, or their valor, or whatever. So I'm just gonna have them run headlong into the enemy Martian lines. Oh shit, oh shit, they're being owned. Oh, I meant. Ah oh, shit, why can't I select them? There we go. Oh, this control is so bad. It's it's one of the, it's the worst controlling RTS I've ever played. The bounding box is so finicky, the pointer is so finicky, and the units, uh, the infantry at least, don't even attack on their own. The tanks will, the infantry won't. The infantry will just stand there and take shots unless you order them and you should in individually click every single last one so that they attack uh, one guy. And once that one guy is dead, they'll stop attacking. It doesn't matter how many guys are surrounding them, they won't attack. They'll just sit there and die. So they're, they're entirely useless unless you become like super precise with a ridiculously finicky pointer to uh, destroy these guys. But if you don't, then you're going to sit around and get owned. So, well the tanks fortunately um, will destroy uh, all enemy soldiers. See, they, they, can just, they can just go around uh, faster than any other unit the game and they fire while on the move with this uh, ability so they just run around and guys can't touch them <laughs> I like listening like I said they, these guys say some really weird shit they're really like I worship communism Lenin was my mother just really weird crap that they say what the hell is this apparently the Martian just decided to draw a poorly drawn crayon photo in the uh, in the sand here. Also, I have another question. We're supposed to be in Siberia, but how come there's no snow in Siberia? And it looks like a it looks like a very luscious green, uh, I don't know, like coastal city. Not like the barren wastes of Siberia. Everything here is so nice and uh, clean and everything. What the hell? My tank uh, reinforcements, I guess, got jammed. What the hell are they doing? What the Christ? Okay, that was really bizarre. Yeah, like I said, the game is just... It, it controls so atrociously. It's so bad. I'm gonna go and clean up these <laughs> fucking green men. These pricks. What exactly are they shooting at me? They're like... They waver back and forth, and that, uh, I guess, allows them to spew forth a ball of some kind of energy, and that destroys my, my troops. Holy shit, there's a lot of them here. Man, this game is just... I, I've got no words to describe this game. It's, it's one of the worst games I've ever played, if not the worst game I've ever played. And I fucking played E.T. I've played E.T. I've played Superman 64. I've played Custer's Revenge. And this takes the cake. This could be the worst game I've ever played. It could be the worst game ever made. Just in terms from, in terms of a gameplay 
standpoint, from a novelty standpoint, it's absolutely fucking hysterical. It's it's one of the most whole, it, 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 it may be one of the worst playing games I've ever played, but it's one of, it is the most hysterically bad game I've ever played. Like, who comes up with this? I, I, I can't even begin to fathom the amount of drugs and the amount of just weird shit that must have been going on in these guys' lives that made this game. And not to mention, like I said, in this day and age, how does a game like this get made? How do they pass this by, like... How does Steam allow this game to be downloaded? I don't know. <laughs> I like these, uh, I like these blue elephants, because they don't do shit. The Soviet tank horde is owning these, uh... These Martians, like I like the battles too, because they take no strategical prowess at all. Like you just kind of, you, you kind of sit there, and then eventually somebody wins. That's that's how the battle works. You don't really need, you don't need to micromanage your troops. You don't need to do anything with them. You could just have them sit there, and you'll win. I'm micromanaging them. I'm trying to do the best I can with this terrible pointer control, and uh, I think I'm doing okay. And, you know what, worst of all, this game can't hold a freaking stable frame rate. I'm dropping to like 9 frames a second constantly, and I, my computer's a beast. It's an absolute beast. And, this game is so terribly optimized that it can't, it can't hold a steady, you know, 30 frames a second. And there's so much shit happening on screen, the game's engine can't handle it, and it collapses under its own weight. There's like a lot of shit blowing up on the screen at one time. Oh, okay. Another victory well achieved, comrades. We we <laughs> we beat those fuckers back and showed them what's what. But I guess that's gonna be it for now. I hope you enjoyed the first two missions of Stalin versus the Martians, and we'll be back with more terrible gameplay and Soviet hilarity, which will ensue in the near future. Um, looks like we got the same victory screen. But anyway, this is Joseph Vizronovich Salen signing off for now, and I'll see you guys later.